for whatever reason, I have a narrative bent. Everything somehow congeals as a story to me, or stories start suggesting themselves to me. So that uh, sometimes this, the place precedes, or the, the experience precedes the, the narrative, but in that one, say, uh, Anne and I, my wife, who's a writer, Anne Beatty, and I rented a place years ago when we first came to Key West, rented this place. And it always struck me that when we had to leave after two weeks or a month, it was like leaving, it was leaving paradise, uh, which lends itself to a kind of, of Adam and Eve departing uh, narrative. And in this one, the narrative is not hit too hard. She's, it's called the gardener, and she's watching, it's my wife, and she's watching the guy water the plants. Uh, and somehow or other, in my mind at least, there's always uh, a pairing, always a kind of sense that from here to here, the painting divides on the golden section, but basically it's meant to read as one space, but that there is a, there's a clear, relentless division there in the painting that separates her mindset from that, from that mindset, this space from this space. So that there is a kind of, I hope, a kind of, if not expulsion, at least a kind of separation built into the structure of the painting. This is our pool, which has shown up in a number of paintings. Uh, we did buy a house uh, here in Key West. So now we don't have to leave. We don't have to be expelled. But this is uh, the pool that we have access to, and uh, I, I place models in relation to that. This is down at the beach. Uh, it's it's uh, based on a, a book by uh, Italo Calvino called Mr. Palomar. And Mr. Palomar goes through life uh, bemused, amused, and Mr. Palomar is off to the right there, um, Watching this scene of, of sort of topless women at the beach, uh, there's a, one of the chapters in Mr. Palomar. He goes by a, woman, a topless woman, and he doesn't look at her because he thinks it's rude. And then he decides, well, actually, it's a, it, she's presenting herself. This is, uh, it's rude not to appreciate what she's doing. So he walks back and looks at her, and then he think, rethinks it. And by the time he's done, he's walked by her about eight times, and she gets up in a huff and leaves. <laughs> so he can be fairly oblivious. But here, that, that's basically what that, what that painting is based on.